everybody, it's me, Jim, and today I'm going to be doing a review on some e-liquid that I received in the mail. It's from freedom2vape.com. That's freedom, the number two, vape.com. And I want to let you know that I did receive this free of charge for the purpose of this review. So my opinion is going to be my own, it's going to be honest, and it's going to be to the point. Um, now I want to show you the little package that it came from. It's just a little standard uh, bubble, wrap, bubble wrap envelope. You can see inside it's got a little bubble wrap in it. So let's pull out the juice that I received. It is a uh, cappuccino 18 milligram strength uh, 10 milliliter bottle. Go ahead and show you the bottle here. It's got a nice little printed label on it. And on the back, it's got its warning label, the flavoring, the strength, and the size of the bottle. As you can see, 18 milligram, 10 milliliter cappuccino. Another nice feature that I realized with these bottles it is uh, it's got a safety seal cap. It's just, you know, you can sit there and spin it and spin it and spin it. And it doesn't come off. You actually have to push it down, turn it, and then it'll unscrew. But I want to remind you that you want to keep this and all other e-cigarette um, supplies out of the reach of children and animal liquids, utensils, cleaning supplies, stuff like that. You want to keep it out of um, harm's way. I want to go ahead and uh, start off by uh, smelling it real quick. It's got kind of a bitter, kind of a dark coffee smell to it. Me personally, I'm not a cappuccino drinker. I am more like a mocha or a you know Folgers type coffee drinker. But yeah, definitely a dark, bitter smelling liquid. And as you can see, it's kind of tan. Um, can't really see anything floating in it. it looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Looks a little thin. I'm, I think they use PG in there, so I'm not sure. But uh, for the purpose of my review, I'm going to go ahead and use my Magnum, which is a homemade mod with a clean atomizer and freshly charged batteries. I'm running on 6.7 volts, so more power is always good. No more than three drops because you don't want to flood your atomizer. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a taste. The flavor, I would have to say, not real strong, but not real weak. Throat, there's a really good, <clears throat> really good throat kick there. Um, Personally, I think it could uh, use a little bit more flavoring. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure what a cappuccino tastes like, but I'm thinking that it would probably have more flavor than this. As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, the vapor production, not a whole lot. But it's, you know, better than some that I've tried. Um, the throat kick is it's definitely there. This is an 18 milligram strength. I'm used to vaping on a 24 milligram. And to me right now, um, me doing the direct lung inhale, which is where you just take it in all the way into your lungs, it seems the longer you hold it in, the more it kicks you right there in the chest. Um, and it kind of burns the back of the throat a little bit. That is what I like. But, I mean, like I was saying, between 18 and 24 milligram strength, they're almost, this juice is almost the same as what I'm used to. It could also have something to do with the fact that I'm using a much higher voltage than normal. Um, the 801 pen style type, I think, uses like a 3.2, but this is double that. It's a little more than double that. I 
I said that the flavor could be a little bit better. I'm going to have to give the flavor probably about a seven, maybe a seven and a half. I'm going to throw a little bit more on there real quick. This uh, being a higher voltage tends to go through a little more juice than normal. The vapor, I'm going to go ahead and give, um, I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and give the vapor about, uh, about an 8. It could be a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, I personally like to see plumes and plumes of vapor. I'm, I guess you could say I'm just a smoke man. But I'm definitely going to give the throat kick about a 9, 9.5. So I want to say my score for this uh, juice, this particular flavor, the cappuccino, is um, going to have to be about an 8.5 overall. Now I'm looking at their website, Freedom to Vape. It's very nicely done, very colorful. They've got lots of different juices on there. Um, they have you know, a section for their top five. Um, I've talked to the owner personally, Dean. He's a, a, very, a very helpful man. Um, he contacted me about doing a review for their juices. He told me to be as honest as possible, which is what I'm doing. It's what I do. Um, I don't get any extra or any less if I say that it's better or say that it's bad or what have you. I just give my opinion the way, you know, I mean, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. That's that's the whole point. Um me personally, I would like to see um, other kinds of juices out there. I'm not sure yet. Like, um, I personally, I want to try like peanut butter cup and stuff like that. And it looks like their website might actually have stuff like that. As far as I know, they are worldwide as far as shipping. I was told that they're based out of the U.S., but I'm hearing that they are in the U.K., so I'm not really sure as far as that goes. They have a lot of different e-liquids, and they're ranging from 9.99 for a 10-liter bottle, all the way to um, let's see here. I want to say um, three bottles for 23.99. So it seems like the more you buy, the less it is, which is actually a really good deal. I mean, 30 milliliters for 23.99. That's not a bad deal. They ship free worldwide. So go check out their site. It's at uh, www.freedom the number 2 vape.com. This has been my review on the cappuccino flavor, the 18 milligram strength from freedom to vape.com. Um, my name is Jim again, also known as Multisync 2009. Happy vaping. Thank you for watching my review.